So being from a rural area in a small town, growing up here in New Mexico, I mean, you're always seeing state police on the road everywhere, um, small rural towns. And I mean, they're always known to be the most premier law enforcement agency in the state. And I wanted to be a part of that, especially coming out of the military. I wanted to, to look for something uh, paramilitary as well. And we're here at the governor's mansion this morning just to show you what it's all about and um, show you where we pick up the governor every day. So right now, I, w I just got off uh, a, a night shift here at the residence and I'm just responsible for uh, security of the property, um, making sure there's no suspicious personnel entering, uh, keep an eye on the cameras, uh, knowing who's coming up to the gate and why they're trying to enter. A typical day for being assigned with the governor is showing up at a residence at a specific time that um, she needs to get to an event. Um, you know, we come to the residence, bring out our vehicle, make sure it's, you know, safe, clean, ready for her to go where she needs to go. You might just get up uh, one morning, uh, head out to the National Guard Armory and fly in a Blackhawk and go to the different parts of the state. It's fun, every day is exciting, never know what's going to happen. Uh, last minute you could be traveling to Washington DC, the next California, Texas. You don't just travel within the state, you're able to travel throughout the United States and abroad. I've done trips to Mexico and Japan. When you're on the detail, you're planning, you're ensuring the safety of the governor. It's a very prestigious uh, position held here in the New Mexico State Police. It's just been very exciting uh, being a part of the, the governor's team and, and being able to make her day easier and, and protect her if something does occur.